Brand new details tonight about another violent weekend here in Mobile. Two deadly shootings, five shootings in all. One of the murder victims just 19 years old. This afternoon, Mobile Police addressing that crime wave. I'm Morella Porter live at MBD headquarters. Morella, police showing off a bunch of guns they've taken off the streets recently. Yeah, they did, Lenny San. There's still a lot more work to do. In addition to those five shootings over the weekend, there were also four other reports of shots being fired into homes and cars. Now all of these bullets leaving some mobilians fearing for their lives. Across Mobile, communities carry the burden of gun violence, a weight growing heavier by the day. We got too many people getting shot. I am just terrified on the heels of a violent weekend in Mobile. Five shootings, two of them deadly in just three days. This violence has got to stop. Neighbors on Farnell Drive believe this street is among the most dangerous in the city. In the last year alone, three people have been shot to death on Farnell. Two others injured, including a five year old boy. Right here down Farnell is one of the roughest spots. Another shooting as recently as Saturday. Someone opening fire on a house and cars here. Neighbors fearing at any moment they'll be shot for something as simple as sitting on the front porch. Not long ago, they had a, a couple gunshots come through and it was like right here, you know, like be standing out here right now. It's like bam, 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 bam. As gun violence rages across the city, Mobile Police laying out numerous firearms taken off the street in the last week and a half alone. I'm outraged. I'm upset. I'm disappointed uh, in some of the violent crime that I've seen occur here in our city. I am personally outraged just as I know the citizens are in Mobile. Uh, with the gun violence that we're all experiencing right now. You know, this is an epidemic not just in the city of Mobile, but also in the state of Alabama and across the nation. Many believe more needs to be done by the city to protect their families. They're still sleeping. They're not, they're not, they're not up and at it. The mayor and city council is going to have to step up. we got to have more help out here than what we got. Now, both men say that their community could use more police patrolling late at night and early in the morning. They say it's also going to take help from people within the community being willing to report the violence they see. Live at MPD headquarters, Morella Porter, Fox 10 News.